All right, guys. So this is a my fighting game Q and A. What's that? You didn't know this was happening? Well, just so happens that this um, is the first episode of the Q and A videos that are going to be like topics. Obviously, this one's going to center us on center around fighting games. Now, you're probably asking, well, how do I ask a question on here? That simple. Just head on over to Patreon and hit my second tier. And you guys can start sending questions for the next Q&A whenever I do a Q&A prelude video. Um, kind of similar to when I used to do Q&A videos, I just center on a topic and go from there. So yeah, if you'd like to be a part of uh, the stuff over on Patreon that it, and also be a part of videos like this, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon, hit second tier. That not only gives you the question, it allows you to ask questions whenever I do Q&As, but also allows you to check out the video exclusive videos there and all the stuff from the, fir uh, from the first tier too. So anyway, there is, so let's move on to the actual questions. Now for the Q&A, I asked uh, um, to my patrons, um, they all could ask up to three questions and all of them pertain to fighting games. So without further ado, let's get into um, our questions. Starting off, we'll uh, we'll go we'll uh, we'll go down. We'll uh, we'll st we'll start from the bottom. Now we're here, right? Um, anyway, so the first set of questions come from uh, Tom Hibbert. And Tom asked his first of three questions is, what do you think of Sakura from Street Fighter? Do you like her or hate her? I, I like her personality. She's not one of the main, one of the characters I main in the game, but I definitely do like her personality and like when she shows up in, in the games. I'm, in, real, in reality, I'm just kind of indifferent to her. I don't like her, I don't hate her, um, and I don't understand the overt hate, uh, hate to her. I don't, I don't get it. Second question, is there a story from a fighting game that you found really, really bad? Story, like, story from a video game. Oh, boy. You know, I really... Um, as much as I like MK9, the story was just... Was a bunch of fuck you, isn't it? Like, MK, the MK9 story, um, where everyone literally just dies at the end and it's a bittersweet victory... That was holy shit. Then you had um, another MK game was uh, I didn't like this uh, um, Deception story. The gameplay was really good, but Deception itself I didn't. I know that one's a beloved one, but I just didn't like the story. Character wise, fighting game mechanic wise, all good. Um, but yeah. So yeah, there's that. Just a few that that step out to me. I would also say the story for Tekken. Tekken 6 also didn't have a great story to it either because I just felt like they were just making Jin darker and darker and Horong was the, literally the last guy you could really trust to be the good guy in the story. So there you go. Hot take, I know, but hey, it's my take. And finally, um, question three. Could MK could Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe work as an animated movie? Totally. I'm actually surprised they haven't done that yet. I mean, they for God's sakes, they, they're doing two Ruby Cross... They've done... Ruby, a Ruby crossover, and they're going to do part two soon. Then we have the Batman Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, I'm shocked we haven't gotten that with all of the... with how well the um, Mortal Kombat animated films are going. Yeah, I'm shocked we haven't got... I would be... I actually wouldn't be surprised if... Actually, no, I would be surprised if we did get a Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe movie. But do I think we should? Absolutely. I mean, we're... DC Universe has crossed over the Ruby and Ninja Turtles. We, we can do... And Mortal Kombat movies. I like the new direction they're doing with the Mortal Kombat movies. Like with Snowblind and the upcoming Johnny Cage one. Um, if we can get, like... Um... If we can do one not, uh, like, if we can do one that isn't in the style of the DC, new DC animated movies, I just can't get into that animation, and do it more, and I know the Injustice movie had that same animation style, but Injustice really sucked. Oh my god, that movie was a fucking, tr and I watched it for, I, I streamed it, I streamed the Injustice movie, and I was just like, this is fucking death, I hate it. So, it, I, like... That animation they did for a DC Universe movie wasn't a good DC Universe movie, but still. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I, hands down, yes. 
Um, next set of questions come from... Well, it's only one question. Da David Deister asks, How would you make a Marvel vs. DC fighting game if both companies would get off their high horse? If we ever got a Marvel vs. DC video, uh, video game, I would say there's so many characters and you can only put so much, but this calls for, like, a good... Like so this would be like a like Mortal Com like excuse me Marvel versus Capcom where we're pushing near fifty char uh, characters so twenty five Marvel twenty five DC um, definitely have like kind of follow the Marvel versus DC storyline but better and not make it like a goddamn gimmick and was god awful actually ha and also actually have Thor in his actual costume and not that god-awful 90s Warren Ellis costume. You know the one I'm talking about. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I that's how I, just for a little bit, that's how I how I think I'd do it. So anyway, thank you for that question, Daniel. Uh, David. Oh my, why did I say Daniel? David Deister, excuse me. So, moving right along to Jason Voorhees 2011. Um, what IP would you like to see get a fighting game, get the fighting game treatment, and which uh, developer, Capcom, NetherRealm, etc., would you like to see do it? Man, there are so many um, IPs out there that deserve a fighting game. I would say would be really cool is like a new Warpath game. Warpath, Jurassic World Warpath. That's what I'd, I'd love to see a new Jurassic Park. If, if you guys remember, when fighting games were all the rage, there was a Jurassic Park fighting game called Warpath. And Warpath gave us, like, early versions of, like, the Giga and Spinosaurus. Obviously, they're not can This is uh, None of this is canon. But I think it'd be really cool to do this as, like, something in the, in the vein of Primal Rage. And plus, you'd have, like, the, like... The updated version we'd have in the movie from the Giga, the Spino, um, even get like other dinosaurs we wanted to get, like Carcara Dontosaurus, um, you know, maybe even like some other t uh, Tyranids, or maybe even Allosaurus as a playable character, getting Dominus, obviously, and we can actually have a Mega Raptor. If you guys remember, there was a giant raptor in the video game, and that, I think that was before Mega Raptor was actually discovered in real life. Um, could be wrong, though. But that would be really cool. As for who hasn't gotten an IP-based video game, um, I would say, um, and not like a Smash Brothers kind of way, um, I would say who would really benefit the most from a fighting game is Ninja Turtles. I'm shocked we haven't gotten, uh, like, I don't think we've ever gotten a Ninja Turtles fighting game at all. Uh, maybe we did, like, arcade system-wise, but never, like, console-wise. We never had a straight-up versus fighting game for for the Ninja Turtles. So I would really like a Ninja Turtles one. I would even say G.I. Joe would be cool as a versus video game. Um, as for others, I would say... Hmm. Hmm. Well, those are the really ones that come to mind, are G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtles. Um, oh, Avatar. We never got... Like, I know they did have a Versus in one of the games, but it was so awful. So a straight up... I didn't, I'm didn't. i surprised I didn't think of this, but, but a straight up Legend of Korra slash Avatar The Last Airbender fighting game and do it in the vein and have, like... I don't know. I wouldn't say Netherrealm because they don't... It, Netherrealm would not work with them because Warner Brothers wouldn't let them. But I would say, like, maybe get in partnership with... Um, with another studio, like maybe maybe Cat and maybe Namco or uh, or Capcom, do a partnership between those two, and straight up, I think that would be really cool. I think that would be really cool to get a Avatar slash Legend of Korra fighting game. Um, have all like have it as one big versus. Like you could have from both eras. Like you could have finally Aang versus Korra. You could do like a Zula versus Kyoshi. Um, even have like, or may, you could even have like Kuvira, like Kuvira versus Ozai, things like that. Like if you if you played Budokai, uh, like Dragon Ball Z three Budokai three, yeah, um, yeah, something like that, where you just go crazy with the with the verses in that game. Ugh. So just gonna adjust the, adjust the chair real quick because I fucking hate this thing. Um, second question. 
How would you do a sequel? Not an anime movie, that's the difference. And a sequel to MK vs. DC. How I would do a sequel to M... To, how would I do MK vs. DC 2 would be... Um, I would have it as like a multiverse stuff. Like a multiverse crisis. And the big bad would be like... Onagu or Onaga or... Onaga or the Anti-Monitor as the big villain you would have to fight. Um, kind of make it like the fight, like as aggravating and as large as the as uh, you fighting um, Galactus in uh, in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Just, uh, yeah, have the Anti-Monitor um, in here. Something, or as Sh or Shinnok. Actually, here's, here's a good idea. The story would be is that Shinnok goes to the Anti-Universe and absorbs the energy from the anti monitor and becomes like anti like kind of like how we had dark con we'd have anti shinnok and shinnok with the anti crisis power would more or less destroy the like break apart the multiverse this way you could have more characters but also characters from the multiverse like you could have like um like red sun superman or like Zhao, like zombie Liu Kang is a character you could have like really play with the multiverse um or is something of that regard anyway so Jason's final question if Street Fighter ever decided to pull a page from MK and introduce guest characters actual guest characters not skins like um the, T the TMNT collab who would you think make the cut um I talked about I think I did a bit no I think that was Tekken actually um, but how I would have it, and I thought they did have guest characters in here, um, in Street Fighter. I thought they did have a guest character or two in Street Fighter. But, um, I would say for, uh, for guest appearances, Snake Eyes would be cool. Um, Shredder, actually, since you've had the skins, have Shredder as a main, um, guest character. I would say, for who else, for a guest character, maybe... Um. Uh, oh, if we're gonna how about dark some dark stalkers, uh, guest characters? I would love to have John Talbane in here as a guest character, either him or Felicia. That'd be really cool to you know show a nod to your to your past Capcom. You know, wouldn't fucking kill you to do that. Uh, so there you go. There's a few right there. Thank you for those questions, Jason. Moving on now to Hunter Johnson, who asks, first question, Stryker is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters and underrated. Do you think? What do you think of him? I'm indifferent. Honestly, it's the same with Sakura, where I'm just kind of like, eh, he's there. I don't main him. I don't play him. But I'm just like, eh, there's Stryker. That's all I can say. That's There's Stryker. Question two, do you think Black Hat could be in the multiverses game? Do I think Black Hat could be in the multiverse, in the multiverses game when it gets patched? Could it, can it happen? Yes. Do I think it'll happen? No. Mostly because I don't think, like, Villainous has a cult following. And while it is a good cult following, it's not a big following. Villainous doesn't have the major cult following. I would rather, like, I am more expecting to see the bears from We Bear Bear, like Grizz, Panda, and Ice Bear, show up before Black Hat. It's not that I don't think, like, I don't think it's a possible. I do think it's possible, but do I think it will happen? No, because Black Hat doesn't generate that kind, Villainous doesn't have that level of um, hype or fandom to make people go, oh, shit. That character's in, you know, Black Hat's here. There isn't a major drive to have Black Hat in this game. Could it, could it still happen? Yeah, totally. Do I think it will happen? No. Like I said, uh, I, I would, I could see the bear, you know, I could see the characters from We Bear Bears there before Black Hat, honestly. Um, third question. What do you think these do you th what do you think these characters and do you would you want them appear in Mortal Kombat 1 as guest characters the Shadow, Judge Dredd, Tall Man, Darth Vader, Cole Young, Bellos, Ash Williams, Injustice Superman, uh, the Batman who laughs in John Wick and Indiana Jones. Well, I'll tell you right now, Darth Vader and Indiana Jones aren't aren't making it. They're just not. They're Disney characters. Same with Bellos, he's not making it. Um, so just get them the fuck out of here. 
Injustice Superman, we have Omni-Man and Homelander. We don't need... I thought it was egregious to have... And while I don't hate the fact that we have Homelander and Omni-Man, I'm more annoyed at the fact that, like, we just went with two evil Superman characters. And yes, I'm sure they'll play different, um, but really, it just feels like we did we couldn't use Superman to kill people. So we so I'd have been fine with just Homelander, and you use like I don't know Battle Beast for your if you wanted to have an invincible character here. I yeah, you could have easily had Battle Beast here. So I don't need another fucking evil Superman that is evil Superman. Cole Young, fuck him, he's out. Um. The Shadow, it'd be cool, but I don't think the rights are just everywhere are everywhere with that character, so I don't know who would do what. Re the Tall Man would be cool, but it depends on getting the likeness for Ag Angus Scrim and also finding a voice actor for him. Ash, uh, like Bruce Campbell said, Ash is not going to happen. Um, John Wick, I think, could is a like okay. Here's the ones that I think could really happen: Dread, um, the Batman Who Laughs, and John Wick. That's really who I could see. Of those characters, those are the only ones I could really see making it into the into the guest character roster for the next combat pack. That's really who all I could see. Why? Because one, they could just get it. Batman who laughs is a popular enough character. Hell, he was a skin in the Joker line. And if they want to have evil Batman who can kill people, get the bat who, the Batman who does that. So you could do that. Judge Dredd isn't... They've shown that, like, the it looks like the theme for the characters for um, this new uh, this new era of, of, uh, guest, of guest characters is going to be comic book characters, like more adult comic book characters. So Judge Dredd is a high possibility. I think he is up there, and it could be either Carl Urban or Sylvester Stallone voicing him. That could be... That'd be really cool either way. Um, John Wick, that's... a. I think that one has people been asking for John Wick. I just don't think we don't need we need another shooter in here, and also be kind of really expensive, really expensive to get Keanu Reeves to both get his likeness and his voice. Not saying they couldn't do it, but I, oof. I mean they are getting J.K. Simmons, and I think Anthony Starr, and they did say Anthony Starr is going to be Homelander. So maybe John Cena will lend his voice for Peacemaker. But Keanu Reeves, that's a lot of zeros. Anyway, so th thank you for that for those questions, Hunter. Uh, moving on now to Bill McLaughlin, who asks... Uh, Bill McLaughlin asks, Question 1. Which anime characters would you like to see appear in a Mortal Kombat game? Well, first and foremost, Kenshiro from uh, Fist of the no North Star. He just comes with his own fatality. Just... Just hitting you of multiple and going, Omaira, Oi Shinderu. And then your character, even if they don't speak Japanese, goes, Nyoni, and just explodes. <laughs> there you go. Kenshiro, obviously. I think um, Yujiro Hanma from Buki, Baki, excuse me, from Baki the Grappler is another character I'd love, would be perfect for Mortal Kombat. Um, Toguro from Yu Yu Hakusho would be fucking awesome. Um, I would say Frieza. Frieza would be a lo like a weird one, but like having him in Mortal Kombat would just be kind of fun more than having like Vegeta or Goku, because then you have like you can pl like you can really play with how brutal Frieza is as a character. Um, yeah. So yeah, those are just a few right there. Um, I would even say like maybe. Hmm. There's a lot of anime characters that could be in here. Roberta from uh, Black Lagoon. That's a long shot, but I think that'd be cool. Um, yeah, there, there's a few right there. There's so many. There's so many, but those are my uh, top ones. Question two. If you could make your own fighting game in the style of MK versus DC, pinning one fighting game universe against a non-fighting game universe, what would it be? Ooh, this is a really good question. I like this. So a fighting game versus a non-fighting game a IP. Hmm. Just gonna drink my uh, <laughs> drink my wisdom juice here. Hmm. I would say have. 
sorry about that. Anyway, so um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I would say my... It'd be Tekken. Obviously, Tekken would be the one I would have. Tekken's probably my fighter, favorite fighting game. And I would have it Tekken versus Ninja Turtles. That would be perfect. They're kind of on... They do weird shit resp respectively, but the, power, but the power leveling really works... Um, they balance out. Like, the power leveling balances out. There's enough characters that you could play with with both Tekken and Ninja Turtles that it could balance out perfectly. So... I mean, Tekken versus uh, Tekken versus TMNT. Tell me that game wouldn't sell banger numbers, or at least it would. Uh, hopefully, it would, um, considering the last crossover game Tekken worked with, but that was more Capcom, uh, failed miserably. So, question three: Who was your favorite Mortal Kombat guest character so far? Ooh, this is another good one. Fa best, uh, my favorite Mortal Kombat guest character so far. That's a really tough one. I did like how good uh, Leatherface was, even though he was a wild choice. Um, Leatherface was a really um, good character. It was a surprisingly good character. Um, Jason and Freddy are all right. Um, we're not using. I'm. I'm not. We're not talking about the Injustice characters. We're only going to do Mortal Kombat. Joker was a fun one. Another surprise. Um, but I think hands down, and I know this. Everyone goes to this question, but it was done. It was, to quote um, that meme, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Down to the last minute detail. And that's Predator. Predator was perfect. It, uh, he was the perfect guest character. No one was expecting him. Um, and they did it justice. They did that character justice and made him one of the best, not just guest characters, but Mortal Kombat characters ever. That, that game, that, like I said, it was perfect. So there you go. Thank you those questions, Bill. Moving right along to our next uh, set of questions. Um, <laughs> to Cyborg19.99, who asks, um, how would you do a sequel to Tekken X Street Fighter? Well, I, would, I think I would do it more in the vein of Tekken, because that's how they were going to do it um, the first time around. I would have it more like you could do the juggling 3D um, scenery. Um, I would also drop the the ugh, everything that like the the gems or the booster packs, the the minute the microtransactions, all of that would be gone. This would just be a straight up fighting game and. Not even if it is a tag team game, I wouldn't have it let like if you if one of your characters lost, th then you lose. You'd still have another character. Like basically fix everything that was wrong with the first game. Anyway, second question: Do you think Heihachi Mishima is really dead? Well, in Tekken Seven, they said that yeah, Heihachi is dead, and to which I would. <laughs> I don't think he's dead. I, Chris and I actually had this conversation that, oh, like, oh, is he really dead? Is Heihachi really dead? To which I was like, and, and Chris was like, yeah, Heihachi's dead. They finally killed him off. And I said, Chris, they have killed this man off twice in this goddamn franchise. He's gonna come back at some point. D like, death is a little harder to come back from in Tekken. It's not like in comic books. But really... I've seen that motherfucker come back twice from stuff he should be dead from. That old bastard is hard to kill. Even if they did throw him into lava and shit, he's probably got like a clone or a something else. That dude, you don't kill Heiachi Mishima until I see definitive proof that he is not coming back in any... Of the I'm convinced he'll show up at the end of Tekken 8. I'm convinced he'll, he will show up at the end of the story arc for Kazuya or Jin. And show up as a like as an after credit scene, like oh he's he's being cloned, or he's being resurrected through some other dumb shit manner, or he this is how he finally gets the devil gene, like like him dying officially is how he gets resurrected as like devil Heihachi, 
or some shit like that. I don't think that I don't buy it for a fucking second. <laughs> so, answer your question, no. <laughs> and third question: Who is your favorite Tekken character? King. Everybody who knows me, it's 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 King. It's gonna be King. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Um, yeah, King is my favorite character. He's my main. Um, just the uh, just this big dude who has a a jaguar mask and you and like speaks through roars and grunts yeah for some reason or another my boy like i always that's my boy from from the get-go it's always king so there you go thank you for those questions cyborg uh next set of questions come from uh mount vernon kid chris how you doing uh uh first question who uh, uh your favorite street fighter theme street fighter theme well, everyone loves Guile's theme. You can't top Guile's theme, really. That's that's god tier in fighting game themes. I would say, like, I think the best, my favorite. I like Akuma's theme. Bison's is neat. Jury's theme is also really good. So, the, to name a few, those are those are a few themes that I think are really good. I, I really like those. Second question: How do you like Reptile's new origin in MK1? I like it. My boy Reptile has always been treated as a jobber or a fucking, like, just punch me clown. This every fucking game for 11 games straight. 11 games, guys, he has been... My boy Reptile has just been treated... Even one of his fucking endings, he just gets fucking killed. Like, he just... That's his ending, is he gets fucking killed. He is the most disrespected character in Mortal Kombat. So it's kind of really fucking nice to see him get the spotlight. You know what I mean? Not to sound too stingy, but uh, fuck all of you. I like Reptile. Anyway. Uh, third question. Do you want a new Soul Calibur game? Is that even a question, dude? Of course I want a new Soul Calibur game. I have been waiting for a new Soul Calibur game for years. Years, dude. Like... I know they don't sell well, but they are so they are so much fun. They're probably my second favorite fighting game behind Tekken. Although Mortal Kombat does maybe third because I do I think like recently Mortal Kombat's gone up in the list for me. But yeah, do to answer your question, yes, yes I do want a new a new Soul Calibur game. Yes. Ah, <laughs> so um. Yeah. Um, so I think that is all the questions. I think that is... I, I'm pretty sure that we have gotten through all the questions. So I'd like to thank everyone who was a part of... Um, my... Uh, who was a part of my Patreon uh, q and I'd like to thank everyone for, uh, for uh, sending me these questions. This was a lot of fun to do. And yeah, for an experiment, uh, for an experiment, yeah, this worked out perfectly. So yeah, if you guys, as like I said before, if you guys want to be have be part of these Q and A's, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, and you guys get the second tier, and then when I do another Q and A, you guys can start sending me questions for the next Q and A, and I post the videos here on here on YouTube. But yeah, this. But in the meantime, when I don't, you guys can check out all the exclusive videos there and everything else. But yeah. So, like I said, once again, thank you all for sending me questions. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.